Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 26th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. For those of you who are enjoying the content of these videos, if you have not already, please take a moment to subscribe and click the notification bell for further videos. The word I'd like to share with you today is one I received this morning as I sat with the Lord and pondered the way He has been leading me lately. If you are like me, you are always learning more from the Lord. It seems He is taking us on our journeys through times of wilderness, through times of triumph, experiences in the valleys, and times on the mountaintops. But wherever we are on the journey, it seems He continues to lead us and teach us things experientially. This word from the Lord today is in response to my meditating on where the Lord has me at this time. So this word is specifically for me, but I believe it is also for many of you, and likely for the body of Christ in general. And so we can all benefit and learn from the message the Lord is giving us today. I hope you will be blessed as you hear it. It is titled, Executing Justice. I'll begin by reading scripture. Luke 10, verse 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This scripture verse speaks of the authority the Lord has given his people to be overcomers. Matthew 17, verse 20. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. In this verse of scripture, the Lord is addressing the issue of faith, telling us that even if we have a tiny bit of faith, we can exercise it to accomplish great things. Mark 11, verse 23. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. This scripture verse highlights how to use our faith. That when we exercise our faith, if we do not doubt, but we believe that what we are saying or praying for or decreeing will happen, it will be done. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This scripture verse makes it clear that the struggles and challenges we go through in life are products of evil spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. I'll begin reading this word. Press in to the high calling. Do not settle for less. I am calling you to step out into the plan I have for you, to send you out in the ministry of Christ. I am fully equipping you. You will see that I have led you to this place, a place where you will receive revelation of the work of the harvest. I am opening doors to you, anointing and appointing you, 
walk through them, says the Lord. I am removing false doctrine in your thinking. You will be changed, not just renewed. I am opening up a whole new revelation of truth. You have believed lies of the enemy, but I am breaking their hold off of you and moving you forward into the supernatural, never to return to natural thinking. Many have been caught in this web of lies, believing and accepting what they see in the natural realm, and being ignorant that the greater power exists in the spiritual realm. I am opening up your understanding to the spiritual realm, and you will be able to see clearly and begin to operate out of the authority you have in the spirit realm to overturn things in the natural realm. You had to get to this point in your journey to be taken to the next level, to escalate in authority. You will walk in power to destroy the works of the enemy, to trample upon scorpions, and to crush Satan underfoot. No longer will it only be head knowledge. This is the place I am taking my people, says the Lord. You will be transformed by the power of my spirit and equipped with power from on high to do the works of Christ. I have told you that if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will have the authority to cast a mountain into the sea. You say you have faith, but your actions speak differently. You depend on the flesh and those things that are attainable in the natural realm. You say, I have given you these resources, but although all things come from me, I expect my people to look beyond them and reach out to me for help. All these things you put your trust in, are in themselves acceptable, but not all are beneficial. You do not see in the spirit realm and are unable to discern the root of your problems. You do not see that demonic spirits are attacking you. You accept your fate without question and then look to resources in the natural realm to help you manage the issues you face. But this is changing, says the Lord. I am opening up the eyes of the blind and revealing the truth. In this day, I am uncovering the veil that has blinded my people. Just as I removed the veil between earth and heaven at the resurrection of Christ and invited those who believed on him to come boldly before my throne to ask anything in his name to receive it. I am opening the eyes of my people and revealing the spiritual realm to them. As you wait on me in prayer, I will come and take you up into heavenly realms where you will see what is truly taking place behind the earthly manifestation. This is a place where true authority is available. As you connect with me in the spiritual realm, you will be empowered to decree a thing, and it will be done in the earth. This is the missing link to walking in victory over your circumstances. This is where I am taking my people in this day to higher levels in my spirit so they are fully equipped to execute justice in the earth. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that he is lifting us up into higher levels of authority, that he is delivering us from our wrong mindsets, from believing the lies of the enemy, that the things we see taking place around us are unable to change because we are functioning 
in the natural realm instead of the spiritual realm. He is telling us that authority is in the realm of the spirit, and as we enter into that realm, we will be able to discern the root of our problems and recognize that it is the work of the enemy. The Lord has given us authority over every evil power, over spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places, and he is telling us this is where the battle must be fought. The Lord has called his church to walk in authority, not only to gain victory in our own personal circumstances, but also to execute justice in the earth. We know that all authority in heaven and earth belongs to the Lord, but he has given it to his people in his name. And as we function in the spiritual realm, this is where the Lord is taking his church. He's taking us out of our natural thinking and bringing us into the supernatural. For me, it has been a long journey of learning, but the Lord is still teaching me that even the little bit of faith that I have can be exercised to move mountains, that doubt and unbelief must go as I step out in faith. Maybe there are others who also struggle to gain victory in their circumstances. May this word encourage you to press into that high calling to seek the Lord for revelation in the spirit realm of what is behind the struggles and to execute authority from that place. I hope this word has encouraged you today. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.